this university. So he had to he had to step away for for a little while. Uh, he should be back next week. Uh, and uh, with that, I will just let's just jump right into the agenda. Uh, these meetings are generally a little more informal than the community meetings, so I'll uh, I will just. Uh, pass it off to the first agenda item and uh, see who would like to talk about that. Sure, uh, I can take that. Let me just, there we go. Um, so these are just, I've got three directions that I was thinking about with the sliders. Um, Elizabeth, I sent you some vari variants of these earlier. Um, but I made some changes to them so that the contrast on the text is a little bit better and so that they look a little bit um, more refined. We're also having this weird little cursor, which is for some reason saved into Adobe Illustrator. Um, so Kevin, I am also having struggles with tech today. Um, <laughs> but this is the first variant I was trying to pull a little bit from those wonderful chaotic dots and lines and matrices that we have in the generated images just because I was unable to actually create that image myself. Um, this is one path. This was another using just an overlay of uh, color that we have um, and a welcoming image and then welcoming text. Um, I also was playing around with different placement for, oh Lord in heaven, um, uh, the text, because I wanted to preserve the wayfinding text on each banner as we have them. Uh, and then the last version is, this is with that image that Kevin shared, but with, again, like a, there's a faint gradient overlay here so that the text retains contrast while trying not to impact the colors too much. Any of these can be applied to any of the banners. Um, copy and text design can be alternated as much as we want. So I would say the the text the text would probably be applied uh, on WordPress in the slider itself. Great. So most slider applications uh, uh, have the ability to do that. So I wouldn't. Uh, I appreciate that text is here. Right now, but in the uh, in the final product, I would say uh, probably no text. Of course, yeah, these will just be exported, just the images, um, and then once we figure out how the uh, text will be placed via WordPress, we can make sure that the contrast is still up to code. So I like the first one. Okay. Uh, I think we're kind of wanting to move away from this third one. Okay, great. Uh, so I think we've, we've had it for a little while. I think uh, my sense was from Matt was that he uh, he's not a, a fan of keeping it, but maybe we should ask him that. Uh, uh, sure. Next time we see him, uh, so I would uh, I would continue. Uh, I'd like to see. I'd still like to see some more alternates for some of these. Uh, Certainly. But I, I I very much like this first one. Sure. There's, there is a variant. I was looking through um, the swag mockups that I think came from uh, Maxwell. Uh, yeah. And he has a really wonderful design on one of the uh, ID lanyards that I imagine he'll be showing off. And I really like that design. And if we all like that, it might be something that we could move towards for one of these sliders as well. Can you, uh, so this is kind of, uh, kind of an abstract, an abstract, uh, design here. Can you, can you go to the, the next one? Yes. Okay. And then we have a real image. Mm -hmm. And 
how many uh how many of these kind of community pictures did you have access to i had access to this photo and the five or six different variants that we have currently um there were other photos of people presenting and that was an avenue that i was thinking about as well was you know just a photo of like one person giving a presentation with just you know like we can't wait to see what you bring to chaos uh, implying that that is the person that we're hoping they can turn out to be um but this was more in line with the reference image that uh, Balema had made. And so I was thinking about just keeping it the style. Uh, so the, so this is the new contributor slide. Yes. That's uh, the new contributor funnel. Yeah. Uh, so the, the purpose of the new contributor slide, just for, for everyone else, by the way, I'm not a, uh, the purpose of the new contributor slide is to, uh, uh, to welcome, uh, new contributors and to give them a uh, kind of a clear path to help them get situated within chaos. So the, the navigation that's going to be on this slider is going to take them to uh, a page that offers uh, some kind of initial information and kind of gives them a, a, a roadmap and guidance on how they can contribute and be successful. So the, the image that's on that slider, we want that to, uh, to convey that, those ideas and kind of that pathway. Uh, does anyone have, does anyone have thoughts on that? Does that make sense? Django, I just put in the minutes um, a link to a folder where we had been collecting individual photos from our community members. And my thought at the time was to like put them in some kind of mural or some kind of something. So I just linked the folder there. If you think that there's a, like that fits in somewhere, that would be awesome. Just um, cause we, <laughs> me had, um, it's my fault that it's taken forever. I just wasn't sure like what to do with them. I, I had pictures in my mind, but I wasn't sure how it would fit in with the website. So um, they're all out there. I don't know if it, you know, we could put them in some kind of mural for something, uh, one of the sliders or one of somewhere else, but they're there. So maybe in, I mean, my thought, I was thinking of some kind of like um, mosaic, you know, where you see the like little pictures that make a big picture, something like that was in my mind. And I can still, of course, do that. Um, but if you have a better idea or want to do something with them, I just threw them out there. And I also linked to that fern that we talked about too. I don't know what, I don't know what we're, we're going to do with that, but it's there. If you want it, it's there. Um, and it's, and then to your point, Kevin, I, I, I mean, I'm not a newcomer, so I guess maybe I'm not the right person <laughs> to, to comment, but I think it's cool. I like it. It looks happy, friendly. Um, I see some diverse faces. It seems like everybody's having a good time and, um, I don't know. I like it. I, I always like the community, uh, pictures on the website. Uh, and, uh, I guess I'm kind of in the, uh, I'm kind of in the same place. Uh, you are when it comes to this. I, I'm not a newcomer, so uh, I, I don't know if this image is welcoming for me as a newcomer. Uh, I know it does show community, and I like that. Uh, I suppose we could, uh, could so drop this in the newcomer Slack channel and see what people think about it, if that's an option. I, I do like it. I would like to see. Uh, similar to the uh, the first one, I'd like to see some some alternates. Certainly. So so maybe we if we have a uh, kind of two or three to choose from. Uh, but generally, I, generally I like this one. Great, that's fantastic. And I will I will work on generating alternates, and I will also bring up something new for this. Maybe bring it back into the this sort of vibe um, maybe with a different colorway because this is pulled from one of our colorways maybe i could pull this from the magenta or the pink maybe so the that first one is really abstract and the uh the second one is it is is not right it's a, an actual image of our of our community maybe for maybe for this one we could do kind of something kind of in between uh, 
so uh, in between abstract and uh, kind of more concrete. Uh, sure. In the, in the past, we've talked about kind of we we, we sometimes use those uh, kind of uh, measurement metaphors. You know, when we uh, when we're talking about open source community health. Um, I think you and I chatted a little bit. I think I think the we do want to. I think we kind of want to stay away from those those metaphors that are really uh, medical uh, to avoid confusion. Uh, but but we could look at maybe incorporating some some imagery from uh, other types of uh, measurement devices, right? So we use those a lot in our. Uh, you know, chaos newsletters, right? Rulers and tape measures and things that kind of uh, depict like, measuring things. And maybe, uh, maybe an image like that might, uh, or some variation of that might be, uh, might be interesting. Certainly one image that came to mind when I was chatting with Elizabeth previous to this uh, that she brought up was an idea of a spider web. And I think that a spider web is an interesting, you know, it's idea because it's that woven connection of all these different things. And we right now have this very chaotic, but also ordered helix of nodes and, and lines. And if we simplify this quite a lot and put some abstract idea representing datas in a couple of them so that it looks like nodes connected as part of, you know, a community network of datum, just like all throughout the whole thing. Um, that was one idea that is currently on my drawing board. And with, with your encouragement, I will expand that out and send you a couple of concepts as well. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. Great. You're you're kind of thinking are you kind of thinking along the lines of like a kind of a social networking diagram? Yes. Keeping a little bit separate from it being a network that is visibly connected of people. Mm -hmm. So maybe avoiding like headshots and things in there, unless we wanted to pursue and go down Elizabeth's idea of like faces in each of those little nodes. Mm. That could be interesting. That could be interesting, especially since, you know, open source communities are made of people and, you know, we have a um, a pretty broad community also working on these metrics. So it could kind of go both ways. You know what I mean? Like, here's a picture kind of of how your community interacts, but also here's how we, we interact and create metrics. Hmm. I kind of like the I like the spider web. I like the uh, social network uh, graph as well. The diagram, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'd like to see. Yeah, I'd like to see what some of that could look like. Sure, I'll work on that today. Uh, so okay, so yeah, so this one is measuring. Uh, the first one is about. Yes, this is this is about community measurements. So and the the distinction for this about is that it is actually it is the how we work. Uh, on the website, we will have there's a. And we don't we don't refer to this one as an about actually. This is the 
this is really the, the how we work. Uh, but we do have, we will have uh, about as well. And the about is more about the, the community and the people that are involved rather than the, than the how we do work, if that makes sense. Absolutely, yeah. Does anyone else have any comments? Yeah, I did put a comment on the chat um, about like pictorial graph illustrations. Um, like for example, um, with our softwares, we do like those. Um, I don't know how that would look like, but maybe we could put in something about pictorial graph um, illustrations. You know, representing how we use our software to measure. Um, you know, community health. Kind of like uh, like visual use cases, things things of that nature, or yeah, so, something around that. How would we go about indicating that? In you, you were talking about newcomers earlier. Hello, I am one. Um, how would we go about <laughs> indicating or representing pictorial graph illustrations in an image, like indicating how? this is like software that we use to identify community health. Do you have any examples of that that I could like take a look at? Mm, I don't think so, but we do have like examples of graphs we've done with Augur. Maybe you could look at that or I think Grimoire Lab. That should be, let me see. Like how the graphs look like when we, that's what you're asking about, right? Yeah. Okay, let me find. I think there should be something in Grimoire on over. That shows like a pictorial example or a visual example. That would be great. I'll find uh, it up in the notes. Regarding the, uh, that, that kind of the, the social network diagram. Uh, in that in that diagram or visualization, it might be it might be nice to have a mix of uh, uh, people and technology to kind of have that, that socio technical view. Uh, Yep, I like that idea. And if you do if you do that, it's it almost kind of becomes a cross between a use case and a and a social network diagram with that showing the connections between people and technology. So what let's let's think for a second, what technology would go into those little nodes? Would we have like because I'd like to avoid text in the image because that would just provide confusion. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, no, no text in image. I mean, we could do, we, we could easily use icons though. Everyone knows what the GitHub icon looks like. Everyone knows what the Slack icon looks like. Like I know that Grimoire Lab uh, integrates with a lot of different tech to analyze. That's that's interesting, actually, because uh, yeah, because we could. Everyone does know what the GitHub logo is, and that that kind of represents technology and uh, uh, and a place where we get a lot of our metrics, right? Uh, same with GitLab. Uh, Here's and, and Grimoire Lab and Augur would be great technology icons that we could use in there as well. I just dropped a link to the Grimoire Lab all details image, like the, the little stack here, um, which has a lot of, you know, a good logos, but also is this the sort of like integration chart that you'd be interested in seeing? Are you, you're talking, are you asking Ruth 
for, uh, for you, you and Ruth, both of you. Let me check it. Um... When I when I copy it, you get a Firefox error. <laughs> so yeah, is... to open it in Chrome. <laughs> This is more like a diet, like this is more like a flow chart. So let me see. Let me go to the GitHub and try to find it. Yeah, let's let's flow chart more uh more network diagram. But these uh these logos that uh that they're using, I think we could use this as kind of some inspiration. Right, because those these data sources are could be nodes in a social network diagram, right? Absolutely. And and people are nodes, and uh, and the Grimoire Lab logo could be a node, and the Augur logo can be a node. Uh, and that way, it could also be. We were talking about community integrating, or like you know, being integrated into our community analysis and that's where we could have you know like a a reduced contrast you know grimoire lab logo on one side and then a whole bunch of you know different faces all making up some amorphous you know open source community we can use photos from our own community and then the nodes intersect so grimoire lab intersects and, and like directly points to things like slack GitLab, GitHub, and then all of those different people also intersect and branch off of all of those different points. But I, I don't think the I don't think the diagram needs to be like really complex. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think you I don't really think you need to worry about how things are connected in the diagram. Uh, okay. However, uh, you know when you uh, I guess the when I was saying kind of a, a social network diagram, I was kind of thinking something something like this. That's exactly what I was thinking too. That's that is exactly the the sort of chart and node system that I was picturing. And then we start, and then we start picturing this with people in it, and the the logos, and 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 what we get is just this this view of this this it's this social network or socio technical network where people are connected to technology and technology is connected to people, and you know, chaos is about kind of measuring and understanding this this network, right? Yeah, I like I like that line too. I just saw like one example that maybe it's to um this example is kind of like uh it's animated though but I think it could give us some inspiration to can I quickly share my screen and just show it. Um this is animated though, but um let me see, let me show you how it looks like. Uh so um yeah, so it's um so this is a mixed panel. It's kind of like an analytic. So it kind of integrates all this. Uh -huh. But but this is animated, right? Um, I don't know if we want to do something like this, or we could draw some inspiration here. Just there was a better one I wanted to show, but I can't remember. It's also an analytic tool, but I can't really remember what the name is. So what does this mean? What does this show? Okay, so it shows um like analyzing. So this is the data and you can integrate all these tools or something. These are the tools that it works with. Different tools. So um my thoughts here is um this is the community, right? And something around the metrics giving you different, but then we do not want to use text, so that might be 
And if those if those texts are data points, we could use the as we were talking about earlier, we could use something along the lines of GitHub logos. Uh, but this this is very complex though. Mm -hmm. I wonder I wonder if you could I wonder if you could use this this image as an inspiration to kind of come up with something that kind of is similar or representative of, uh, of the idea that this one's kind of trying to convey as well. Oh yeah, like you said, I think uh, probably this could replace like data points that what we like what we try to measure in chaos, maybe the different things we kind of measure. Um, and then we have the background of the first design uh, that Django showed that the background would be that um, pattern design and I don't know, uh, we could have the chaos logo here. I don't know, I'm just thinking so much. <laughs> no, I was actually thinking the same thing. The, the chaos logo could be that bottom uh, uh, that bottom yellow round figure could be replaced by the chaos logo. And then, if we were to do something like this, I think I think the image is static. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think we have as many ups and downs. Uh, I forget the I forget the term waves. I don't, we don't have as many waves. Uh, and then maybe the, the text would be replaced with uh, uh, our data point logos. And I'm sorry, people have their hands up. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at that. Uh, yeah, I think Emma, yeah. Okay, um, regarding the slider for the newcomers, I think maybe we could do something like um, a map and a social network on it. So the map, the contrast will be really, really reduced. Then you have like the network have pictures and icons of maybe GitHub, any other um, softwares that are very known. Then it could be animated or it could actually be static. But I believe if it's animated, it's be better. Uh, I don't really have a picture of it, but I could actually make a sketch and send later. I think that would be really nice at this side. Then the text will be at the right, then this won't be at the left. I like that idea. Uh, uh, kind of a, a getting started map for, for yeah. newcomers. Uh, an image that kind of shows uh, uh, kind of a you're here, and, uh, and these are the directions you can go for. Uh, let me see if I can find any images that would. Uh, kind of inspire that. But yeah, like a newcomer map image would be, could be very cool. It seems very similar to our, um, our socio-technical map. Um, and think, if we're going to use that for the third one, we might want something that's a little bit more varied for the second one. Um, but Balema, I would love to see your sketch uh, because that would maybe help me understand a little bit more what you're getting to. All right, I'll send it through. Yeah, for, for me, I'm not sure, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not thinking about it the same, the same way. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually not, I, the way I'm thinking about it, I'm not, I don't think they would be that similar. Actually, okay. Because the, because uh, I would see it more as kind of like a map background, 
All right, so the image is uh, uh, maybe maybe something like maybe something like this. Yes, so we have something like or, this that's a little bit more reduced contrast. Maybe something like this. Kind of like a subway map. Mm. A really abstract subway map. I like the colors on it. The colors could match chaos. Uh, the the text that we have in it could say something like "You are here." Uh, like, how do we get started, or something like that. I really like that idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, the more I look at this image that I just shared with you, the the more I really like that as an inspiration. Uh, and if you wanted, you could even hide, you could hide some logos in there. Like kind of make them kind of not all that noticeable. Yeah, I just to also toot the horn of my alma mater, um, the man who designed the original subway diagram, Massimo Vignelli, has his entire archive at my college so the entire wow. time i went through design school boy did we look at that diagram a lot so i would love to do my own take on that for chaos okay it would be a lot of fun so does is is this uh does this kind of fit with what uh with what you were mentioning Yes, it's something like that, something to really inspire them to want to contribute or want to join the community. And to, and to make it clear that if they follow this navigation, it'll give them kind of direction on how to do that. Yeah, I think so, because we could like say, for example, in newcomer thoughts, if the navigation is the first thing is the um, GitHub or join Slack or you know make a PR. So it's we we could use that pattern and just navigate back to your hair. And maybe that your hair would lead into I think the sliders do have like buttons, right? That that goes to a knowledge base. So it could lead in down to the knowledge base. And then when they follow through that map, it just sees your hair and then it's pointing the arrow kind of like pointing to the button so I can click it and go to the knowledge base or to whatever link that's going to the community handbook or whichever knowledge base is going to. Okay. So the uh so at that point so at, at this point what we've kind of been discussing is that this one would be kind of an abstract kind of map type type image with this one maybe is the inspiration and then the other one we talked about was the uh uh the social network diagram one which i i think that's also kind of a cool kind of uh idea for this for the slide as well uh which means i think the uh we do probably need to keep a community image of uh, like a, a like a real photo of something just to kind of separate the uh the abstractness of the sliders right so we have two kind of abstract sliders and one like image that is very much community uh so uh So the uh, currently that community image is for the uh, the newcomer slide. Uh, 
maybe we move that community image into the how we work slide. Uh, so could we find some pictures of the community and maybe community working? Uh, like a picture of a uh, like a hackathon would be would be phenomenal. If we have, I think I might have a few pictures of from hackathons in the past. Elizabeth, do you have any pictures from hackathons? None come to mind, to be honest. Um, since we're so virtual, um, I don't I don't know when the last time we had gotten together in person to do a hackathon would be, but um, yeah. Maybe when you're in Dublin, you could get some shots of people sitting at desks with their computers. I won't be there, but um, oh. Matt and she will. And I'm pretty sure one of them, maybe Sean has like a, you know, a good camera that could maybe grab some shots. So I will bring that up. Okay, uh, Ruth? Yeah, I wasn't going to add to this, but I was going to talk about the patterns um, that Django put up. It was really nice. So I think we can keep the patterns for, um, you know, background of like, uh, I think leading into what Maxwell do, um, like for conference banners, like those patterns, you know, it could um, leading into that. It also flyers, uh, event flyers as well and a whole lot of other things. I think that pattern kind of replaces um, what we have previously, and we could use that pattern uh, even for um, slide presentations, like slide decks. So while we're like changing these sliders and changing the direction, we can keep those patterns and have like different variants, different colors. I think Django did show me the pink one was really nice. So we can have those patterns with, um, you know, uh, event flyers, um, slide um slide decks um and other like minor uh, designs would have we can have those patterns i think it does replace that old pattern we usually use a lot with a whole lot of things i agree a hundred percent so i like that image I, I think that should go into our uh i i assume we're creating a folder to collect some of these images maybe a Maybe a folder that we could put on the community yeah. handbook or in the yeah. community uh, repo. Yeah, would have like uh, I think maybe brand kits or that will have all these things into it. I think when everybody's done, we'll just compile it into a, like a brand kit, and then we'll have it in the community handbook and also in the drive, the chaos drive as well. What's the best way to share photos? I did uh, open a folder on our chaos Google Drive just to drop the images that we were looking at that Django and I were looking at. So um, if we want to use a drive, there is a link in the minutes um, to drop photos in, but we can certainly do anything. I think it's a little har harder to, I mean, the repo is a good place to store the files, but you just, I don't know that we can see them very well. I don't remember now how GitHub handles images like that. Yeah, maybe we could create a we could create a document that links out to this repository. Just a just a way of uh, knowing that this wherever we're keeping these fold the uh, these images, just knowing where they're at and maybe pointing towards them. Maybe the uh, we talked about having like a branding document or a design document. Uh, if we're if we're creating if we're creating a design document in that design document, we could link out to an image folder, I suppose. Uh, okay, I just found a bunch of pictures. Yeah. 
Bunch of different chaos logos. I have some pictures from Yeah, can you give me the link to where to where I should put these? Can you see okay. those? Yeah, Here. I just sent the link to the drive that um Elizabeth created for the website okay. images. Am I sharing images or am I just sharing the uh, Yeah, you're images. showing that chaos con the folder. We're seeing just the folder with the photos, different photos. Okay. You're not seeing any of your photos as an opening in that? Yeah, it's open, like it's all open in a list. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll upload a bunch of photos, so check check that later. Uh, I think I have, I think I weeded a, so this one, yeah. Can you see that picture there? No, it's not showing. No. So we did a hackathon at this chaos con. Uh, and so I do have some hackathon pictures. Uh, Oh, nice. So I have a few more like that one that I know of. Uh, so maybe maybe you can find something in there. I'll I'll upload them. So just uh, check for it later. Okay, sure. Thank you for, uh, I know we spent a lot of time on the slider, uh, but I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, so it's the, I've been, uh, uh, as far as that, that main page goes, it's kind of the, it's that main feature. And I think it's going to, uh, uh, getting that slider right is going to uh, uh, kind of affect the design of that, that whole page. So, uh, so I appreciate that we're, we're spending a lot of time on it and, and kind of talking about it. Uh, and I really appreciate all the work that you're all doing. Uh, but we are running out of time, so I would just, uh, is there anything that we, we need to talk about in questions that have to be answered right now? For the slider. I'm sorry? Do you mean like on the agenda item or for the slider? On the agenda items, I, th I think we, uh, I think we've talked, we've talked enough about the slider, so we should probably, uh, uh, if there's, if there's any other business that we really need to talk about, we should probably move there. Uh. Okay, um, so there's, um, we had like an update for the logos that uh, Maxwell shared the last time. Um, Joya gave some feedback from um, the um, Asia Pacific community about the map, um, and we had like. Um, updates on the map and then also um, swag mockups. So let me just share my screen and show it. Okay. I think you're still sharing, Kevin. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Trying to go to the drive. So we had we had a very like 
since issue on map. I need to open this. Um, why is this not opening? Okay, it's loading. Sorry. So we had like a very sensitive issue on the map. Um, Joya mentioned um, you know, avoiding using the map for the chaos um Asia Pacific. So we had to just well my system loads off. I don't know how so many files open. Um, so we just had the Chaos Asia logo as text. Then for Chaos Africa logo, we kind of like had it with um just the map. I know the initial period. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I can't present this. It's just taking so many too much time. Um, let me stop share and start again. Or oh, can someone else present it? Links are there. I don't know why. Is having some issues. Kevin, please could you share and just share it? Uh, just a Links are on the meeting minutes. Oh. I think we're all having computer issues today. Yeah, I yeah every every link I try to open tries to open in Firefox and then I get an error, <laughs> so I have to copy it and open it in Chrome. Um, so just a second. I think it's opening now. Let me try again. Okay, can you see it now? Oh yeah. Okay, great. So we, we had, you know, the I think Elizabeth wasn't here for the first time, for the first one, but we had like um four um variants of the logos um where we had Chaos Africa in in into like the map. Um so and also we had Chaos Asia like in the map, and then some parts were like cut out. Right, so um, Joya gave us like very good feedback about um, like avoiding using the map, right? Uh, because it can cause like um, it, it could have like some issues. So um, we um settled on having Chaos Asia like without the map, and then for Chaos Africa, um, we also got rid of the other ones that had like the cutout section and just had the map. Um, full with you know every everyone being represented so this was like uh, these like the updates from the logos and a bit of um you know like stickers um we could print this um that's for the logos um then because of time let me just rush through the next one the swag link let me go there and then I have to struggle again. Let me see. Um, I have a question. Um, <laughs> back on those logos, is is there a way, or is there some kind of? picture or something that we could outline that would represent chaos asia that wasn't a map just so it looks a little bit more in line with the chaos africa one does that make sense because like to me they look really different and maybe that's fine maybe that's cool um but i was just wondering like if there's some something else that we could outline that would still be representative of that community but would not be the map if that makes sense yeah, we had thought about that, right? I think uh, Jira and I kind of like had that conversation and we had to be feedback about using like animals to kind of um, like for um, China, like pandas um, and then an elephant for India. But the issue with having that was that if we have um, like, an animal representation like stuffed up together like different um animals from different asian countries like stuffed up together it kind of like it goes away from the original chaos map 
So it's if you have that together with the chaos, sorry, the chaos logo, it's it can it can be mis misinterpreted, right? I think that was the feedback that Maxwell gave to me. Like it can be misinterpreted, like having to see if you see animals first, you might want to think something different, right? From what chaos is about. So that was like the issue with having um that part. Got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Can you go back to those? Can you go back to those logos? Okay, sure. Um, yeah. Like I was just thinking, like that Chaos Asia is like way bigger and is going to show up a little different if we have them next to the Chaos Africa one. So if there was some kind of outline of something it wouldn't even have to like we could keep chaos africa with the map but chaos asia instead of a map something else i don't know what though but we yeah. should we should probably we should probably have just a chaos africa uh that looks like the chaos asia as well right so with yeah. that, without the, without the image yeah maybe we could have so, maybe moving the map and just having that like that mm -hmm. I wonder, I wonder if it would, uh, I wonder what it would look like if you, if you took the Africa image and replaced the O in chaos with it. Mm. Would that still read as chaos? Then Gum, I want to confirm for the LF. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I think we might want to confirm from the LF, like they can read the O. Oh, if we can, yeah. if we can modify the logo. Yeah. Yeah. My one. Yeah, never, never mind. I don't think we can. <laughs> yeah. So, I, maybe for consistency, we can just get rid of the map in Chaos Africa. Oh, I love, I love the map though. Um, I do too. I do too. Is there a way that we could maybe make it a globe so that the globe would just kind of show? I don't know. Maybe that would be more confusing if we had a globe that would kind of generally show the general area of what, instead of like the actual continent, but like, you know what I'm saying? What if we, what if we separated out those images from the text and we kept these, and we kept these images kind of the same way that we're wanting to keep that, uh, that blue background image uh, that, that Django had created uh, so that we could use, we could use the, the, the picture in, in a lot of different interesting ways, but it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to the Chaos Africa logo. Like we, we could we could use them together on t-shirts, we could use them together on stickers, all of those things. Uh, but we would it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to the Chaos Africa. And then there would be kind of some consistency between the way that the Chaos Asia, Chaos Africa, and the and the regular Chaos logo is is depicted. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. I understand that part. Uh, we 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 separate the we separate out the image from the That's from the logo part, and then we can we can use that image however we'd like. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to the logo. Okay, the image you're talking about is it this image or the image Django has shown? I'm Which talking about the, and actually we uh we're we're butting up against the uh the common meeting we've gone long, so I think we would uh, maybe we could look at it again. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 continue discussing. And uh, thank you, thank you all for the meeting. I'm sorry we went so long. Uh, and uh, uh, looks like we are beginning the common meeting.